Slide 10, the development of the face and palate. Item 1. The recognizable phase begins its development from five primordia that surround a central area of depression, the oral pit or the stomatodium. These primordia are single cranially located frontal nosal process and two bilaterally located maxillary processes and mandibular processes. The maxillary and mandibular processes are derived from the first breaker arch. The first breaker arch, also termed the man mandibular arch, forms the lateral wall and base of the stomatodium, the, the primitive mouth that appears as a slight depression of the ectoderm surface, item 2. The mandibular processes are the first to emerge with each other at the midline and eventually give rise to the mandible and the lower part of the face and tongue. Item 3. The dorsal end of the first arch cartilage also turns Mecca's cartilage ossifies to form the malleus and incus of the middle ear. The dorsal end of the second arch cartilage also term reset cartilage ossifies to form the stepes of the middle ear and the styloid process of the temporal bone. Item 4. The median nasal processes approach each other to form a single globular process that in time give rise to the nasal tip, columella, prolabium, frenulum, and the primary palate. Continuing growth of the maxillary mass below the optic vesicles allow fusion with the neural lateral nasal process. Item 5. Toward the end of the sixth week, the maxillary process fuses with the median nasal fold of the globular process, forming a true nostril, as it gives rise to the lateral lip element. Item 6. However, posterior to this anterior fusion of the maxillary process to the nasal processes, the developing nasal floor is open to the oral cavity. Within the primitive stomatodium, lateral palatal processes develop from the medial edges of the maxillary process to give rise to the secondary palate. At this stage, developing tongue nearly fills the oronasal cavity completely and reaches the nasal septum. 